Okay, I am live. Okay. All that done. All that done. Here we are. All right. How is everyone today? I'm going to oil up my nails. Nail check. There's still that gorgeous blue that they were on Wednesday. Oh, wow. I can't believe we've come this far. So, as y'all may have gathered from uh, the title of this stream, what I'm doing today is a memorial park for Stonewall, which was a series of riots that occurred um, in the late 1960s for LGBT rights. It's part of the reason why we are able to be proud of ourselves today. Well, one of the, one of the big reasons. So that's why I am making sure to commemorate it in this Minecraft world of mine. I'm going to go ahead and take out this right here. Every time I see it, I think it just looks ugly. Whoops. We will also go make sure that those, um, whatchamacallits, don't keep on spawning on the, the phantoms, or whatever they're called, things that are flying around me up in the air. They don't like it that I haven't slept in a while. not care about making sure these are grass blocks, but my plan is to take a picture of the castle. So I want to make sure that this is all fixed up. much better. Also, this is going to have to go. It has not been touched in months, and I don't even know what it's for, except to make music or lights or something. Right here. Ten seventy six two seventy five. Let me write that coordinate down. One ten seventy six two seventy five. Three, seventy six, two sixty two. 
There we are. That's what I intended to do right there. And just patch up the leftovers. Oh, I guess I removed some grass blocks on accident. There we go. Those phantoms need to go away. <clears throat> okay, my respawn's been set. Is it morning time? I don't think so. Because yeah, I have a set to be nighttime all the time, and right now. And that was because I was lighting up the world, basically. Okay. This is gorgeous. I kind of want the rain to stop. And I'll just set the weather. Why isn't the weather changing? That is not, I did not want to go to thunder for sure. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go in here. Weather cycle off. Fucking kidding me. That is the exact opposite of what I wanted it to do. Finally. Okay. That's a really good picture. I kind of want the clouds to move a bit more. Oh, hi, Despair. I'm sorry. I was paying no attention to chat. It's nice to see you or read you. So I want to get a good picture of the castle before I started on the Stonewall Memorial Park. And I also need to select a location for said Stonewall Memorial Park. I haven't decided exactly where yet, but um, I know I want it to be an expansive park with lots of pretty things in it. And I have, I got a really good idea uh, from something I saw online earlier today. Can I make the clouds go faster in this game? Is that a thing? Can I do that? This is going to take forever. Okay, I'll come back and do that picture later.
But for now, we're going to try to find an area where I can build a suitable park. I thought about right here, near this lake and this ocean. But I kind of also want this to be residential areas. And the mountains, I can't really do much. You have reading reading for me? Oh, OK, awesome. Yeah, as long, it, yeah, it's extremely appropriate, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember seeing these floating blocks one time when I was roaming around this world. Just random floating blocks. Just chilling. <clears throat> this area was supposed to be the Valley of the Nobles. <clears throat> Similar to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. I feel like over here would be a good spot. Right next to the castle, too. Make sure everyone knows. But wouldn't over here be just so awesome seeing this big old pride flag right above the Stonewall Memorial Park? Wouldn't that be perfect? But would it be offensive if I placed a real-life memorial next to this in-game memorial? I wrote it and it feels different, but I don't know why. Huh. I don't know why either, but I'd be happy to take a look at it. So I must decide where to put this memorial. Dante's tree is right here. This area is out of the question, it's too hilly. So people are walking this way. You got to be kidding me. Okay, next time weather clears up, I've got to set this to whenever I did this last time, that's whenever it stopped. Changing to clear weather, you fucking better be. Not playing around. Once those clouds clear, we are taking a good picture of the castle. So what if I had a... That area is too small, although I love the waterfall. I can make an artificial waterfall. That can be a thing. Maybe even a river that runs through the park. I can I can make that happen. There's already a river right here. What's hiding down here? Oh, it's a small pathway that goes all the way through. To the underneath of the castle. Me wearing long boots with no idea why I'm going to wear them. I have a black motorcycle outfit, that, so I suppose that has to do. I have a zombie apocalypse outfit ready. <laughs> That's going to be your zombie apocalypse outfit? 
I mean, you do you. This is right underneath the, uh... Wow. This leads up into the throne room. You're underneath the throne room right now. That is so cool. I guess that makes sense. I actually got bit by my niece yesterday um, because she did not want to go back inside. She was having too much fun outside and did not want to go back inside, so she decided to uh, bite me because she was mad that I was uh, taking her indoors. It's okay to have boots for vanity. That is an excellent picture. Let me make sure I captured it correctly. I'll bite you. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I got the picture of the castle that I needed. What have you been struggling to come to grips with? Sorry, y'all, I have, uh, my allergies are really bad right now. I actually thought I was sick um, on Thursday night, but it turned out that I was just having really bad allergy symptoms. You know, I have vampire bat, but you can make an exception. That's a good way to think about it. I've got to create some kind of pathway down from here if I want to make it that that park a thing. Oh, I can also change the time to day now. Instead of messing with commands, because they keep on messing with me, we're just going to set that. You're struggling with that thought that everyone needs a you in their social sphere? Is that a bad thing, though? Exactly. Okay, so if you want this to lead into the park, so we need to come down here. I want to keep a natural landscape pretty much down pat. It's pretty much good on that. Because um, it's supposed to be a park. 
kind of almost like a nature reserve. But with a purpose. Purpose of reminding everyone what happened during Stonewall. need fences, I think, to make sure that people know not to jump over them and die. Look at that. I guess people can still jump over it, but that's if they if they choose to do so. So here's the first part. There's just some kind of crystal pathing path I can use, something that looks like crystal. I feel like the only thing similar to what I'm looking for would be like an amethyst block. You have new children? Tell me more. Redstone lamp, that's what that kid was talking about. <clears throat> What do you see to do? Well, that's pretty. <coughs> one is Wynn and the other one, the small one is named Willow. Wynn and Willow. That's cute. This should be a large enough area for the Stone Memorial. I don't want the pathing to be made out of though. Probably something that also has stairs to go with it, so it all looks uniform.
It's raining again, but it's okay because I'm not trying to do anything with it right now. I'm not trying to make it not rain. I kind of like the look of diorite. It's stormy outside, don't like that. That looks like a good, oh, it looks a little gravelly. I don't want this part to look cheap. That looks less cheap. I think every game in the galaxy would destroy me if they found out that I made a cheap uh, Stonewall Memorial. Or anything that even remotely looks cheap. So I think we have to come up to here and branch off. I kind of want to include this whole area. And make a bridge over the, the water here. Hello, cow. That was not what I intended to do, but it's what ended up happening. You can see part of the, whoa. That's part of the mine shaft. That's so cool. Okay, that's gonna be Stonewall Cave. I started watching a new show recently, which doesn't happen very often for me. It's called Sweet Tooth. It's on Netflix. So we're gonna have a bridge over cave stone wall. Yeah, it's a really cool show as far as I can tell. And uh, it kind of reminds me a lot about what's going on in the LGBT world right now. 
And a lot of that, like the anti-LGBT laws and shit that are passing right now is part of the reason that I'm making this Stonewall Memorial. To also kind of remind the straights of what's gonna fucking happen if they keep on trying to push us back into the dark. Because we're not gonna we're not gonna take it. I'm pretty sure um most of the straights know this, but I will go to war. Hi Mr. Fish Stew. How are you? I'm doing great. Just getting this uh, park pathway built. Now I guess I'm about to make a bridge. Perfect. In my terms of anything about my person, it's all out there, right? I mean, obviously, there's certain parts of myself I don't share with the whole stream or anything, but for the most part, I'm pretty open. That looks cool. We have diorite walls, don't we? Yes. Polished diorite walls? Looks like we don't, I don't know why. Feisty meetable, hi! Let's make a nice of there we go. I want this to be a little bit bigger right here. My allergies are terrible today. I keep on having to lean out of camera. My face has decided to go Niagara Falls. Sorry about that, okay. What I'm making right now is a memorial and also a reminder about Stonewall. Oh, how is she doing? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, the only problem I see here is that there's no block here. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm trying not to disturb the natural landscape too much while I do this, but there's going to have to be adjustments made to make sure that structures have support and other things like that. I really need this to be this high up, though. Can I just do this? I like this better. It looks more open. Ooh, family drama. Let's see what we've got so far. I think if we stop the park right here, have it round out, maybe go up into this area. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, this is, um, I've never made a park in Minecraft before, but I got this really cool idea. Let me see if I say the picture real quick. I'd like to show you all the picture. I should have seen the picture. Oh, I may have been a dumbass and not saved it. Definitely not showing all that. Oh, here it is, here it is. Moon gates. They're called moon gates. And I want to incorporate them into this world. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how or when. I mostly had to just figure out um, where I was going to put this memorial park first. And this is my castle. It's pretty much finished. Or palace, I should say palace. It's pretty much finished. The interior has also been finished as well, and I'm very, very proud of it. And I think the park is the last major structure that I'm building. Oh yeah. So we walk through this big foreboding. Now, one of my friends named Dante, he did this. I didn't do this, but he knows how to make armor and all that kind of stuff. We were just talking about going to war, so I think it's both at this point. <laughs> True that. Here's a little reception area. I love reception areas, and I don't know why, but I always have to have one. Then there is the inside of the castle proper, my throne room. I kind of want to put something on the walls, but I don't know. I do love these flags up here. I think that looks pretty cool. Then we have, this is a secret passageway, which I can open and close. Let me show you, I'll show you the library here in a minute because there's another way that leads to the library too. But up these grand staircases, <coughs> there is a grand banquet hall. When I get super famous, you can, be, you can come be my secretary. I'll make you a reception area. Oh my gosh, she's going to make me a reception area. Big old windows. Ooh. 
This is the library. There's several different levels to the library, and they all have different color carpets. Except the bottom area here, which has no carpet. But there is also a reception area! <laughs> and I made this castle or palace um, almost all by myself. There's only a few small pieces that have been made by other people. Um, but most of it is my handiwork. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness gracious. This is a suite. It's the the highest, um, most expensive hotel that you can get. And there is a balcony here, a wraparound balcony that actually links up with the dance floor over here. Dante did this. I did not. I don't know how to do redstone. Uh, the only thing I need to put here is a dance floor, because for some reason it's been removed. I want that back. But you know, of course, the pride flag had to go there. Of course, I had to wait. I had to work late. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not the only one to spare. First diamonds to be mined on this server. The first deep slate iron to be mined on this server. This is uh, the museum area, which doesn't have a whole lot of stuff yet, because it's more like mementos. Crying obsidian specimen from the Great Fairy Fountain. Red nether brick specimen from the Dragon Roost Island Head. Lots of specimens and stuff like that. Um, if you walk up here... I was going to make a spiral staircase that led up to it, but... Um, apparently I'm not very good at building spiral staircases. I've been working late if you're my secretary. Oh my. Oh my. So this is going to be my personal area for uh, crafting things and chests and all that, but it's not filled up yet. But then I have my personal bedroom, which is at the very top of the top spire of the castle in the middle. It's so far up. And then I have an invisible balcony. Yes, I, the, one, the views that, that I have here is one of my favorite parts about this entire world. <laughs> oh, despair, you're silly. Oh, I almost forgot one of the coolest things. This is the enchantment room. It doesn't have bookshelves or an enchantment table yet, but it will. So as you can see, it's above the castle, and again has the magic floating blocks, or the magic, um, yeah. It looks like air, which I think is super duper cool. And, yeah. You can see the entirety of Spawn Village over here. You can see the Dragon Roost Island over here. You can even see the rural lands up here. Thank you! Yeah, this has been built over a period of months, like, it took quite a bit of dedication to get to this point. Oh, that says castle. That should say palace. We're gonna fix that right the fuck now. Where did my signs go? <clears throat> okay. Then, uh... After my personal areas, there are some other places in the palace as well. I'm just gonna fall. I'm in creative mode, so it doesn't matter. Um, where the fuck did those zombies come from? 
We don't do zombies in here. Not inside the palace anyways. Why are you talking about using person? Are you trying to make me act up? Well, what what the fuck if I am? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> now, um, Feisty Meatball, I don't know if you've ever been inside the kitchen of um, the place that I used to work at, but um, it's kind of what I modeled it after, this kitchen right here. A hand washing sink, a fire, smokestack, barrels, countertops, all the things. I thought this looks like a pretty advanced professional kitchen. Then down here, this is the servants' quarters. There's a whole lot of beds in here. but not limited to hugging you to death. Well, yeah. Come and try it, bitch -acho. At the very bottom here, we have a little gathering place for all the servants. And this is the backyard. Oh, it looks like Annabelle has made some friends. A horse. And a chicken. This is Annabelle, the royal cow. Uh, she's gonna have a mate at some point whenever I uh, start playing this world in survival. But yeah, she's made some friends apparently. Um, this is her little house. Hello, horse. Despair thinks you're cute. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> I love that. And a little water tins for Annabelle when she gets thirsty. This is a grave site um, that goes with the lore of the world, which um, I'm working on behind the scenes. I don't work on it on stream as much because I want some of it to be a surprise. Um, I've let things slip though. Here is the hotel area. And this is how you warp to whatever hotel, mo motel, hotel suite that you choose. Uh, the hotels, they're pretty snazzy. You got balconies and stuff like that. We got beds, we got a TV. You know, everything you might need. Crafting table, furnace. This just indicates which one it is. And the suite here is the one that we were in earlier, uh, which has a ton, an absolute ton of things. It has cake, it has um, this huge TV, it has a place we can brew drinks, cookie. Um, Upstairs, there's a bunch of beds, and there's crafting table, furnace, and also there's a there's an invisible balcony. Very ritzy, if you ask me. There's a lobby warp. The motels, I mean, they're not really that big or anything, but they have they provide for people's basic needs, and they have a TV. And there's a secret, this is the reception area for the hotel, because because why not? And then there's this little area here. It's a Prince Guards only area. I haven't really done much with this area yet. It may just be here like this. Like there's some areas of the, of the palace that aren't built yet because I don't have things to put there, but that will change uh, at some point in the future, I'm sure. I'll figure out things I want to build and where to put them. The last thing, I forgot about the balcony and thought you just yeeted yourself out the window. I was like, same. <laughs> the 
The courtyard's real pretty. With some golden trees here. These are condominiums. These are available for purchase. And most of them are just big old empty rooms. Why the fuck is there an empty... Okay, well that needs to be fixed. I can't leave that there forever. Okay. Sorry y'all, my nose is doing the thing again. It's been doing the thing all day. I hate the thing. Those trees did take a minute to figure out. I remember being like, this is stupid. And I was also really, really tired that day. I didn't even want to stream, but I was anyways. I try not to um, cancel stream unless if it's absolutely necessary. But I got it done. Perfect. <clears throat> and I got a balcony here, but the top one, the top floor, It has a premium magic balcony with the best view in the spires. Oh, I haven't even shown you the Prince Guards area yet. Oh, whoop. This is the map room. This is going to be updated. Oh yeah, I haven't shown the dungeon either. The map room is kind of, um, it's not done yet, but uh, it's where strategies occur and everything like that. And I can also do this awesome thing. If I can find the fucking tool. I had a way. Is it not working anymore? Man, me and Dante spent forever trying to get this to work. There it is. There is a secret. Oh, I put the weapons forge somewhere already. I already built it. I'll show it to you here in a minute. But there's a secret um, passageway into the library because this map room is very enclosed. And we have the Prince Guards area. Which is kind of like the servants' quarters, but it's a bit more. Um, how do I put this? It's a bit more spaced out, even though it's not entirely spaced out. Here's a sparring area for prince guards. And this is like right above the hotel, by the way, like right above the suite. <clears throat> so, the Weapons Forge. It'll be easier if I just go through here. I guess I can't do that. That's the servants' quarters here. Let me fix that up. I totally f fucked it up. Two 
Actually, I'm full screened it. Oops. There we go. Someone will accidentally fall and break their spine, which is appropriate falling for falling into a library. So this is the uh, weapons forge right here. I didn't want to make it like where there's a bunch of windows and everything because, of course, it's going to be kind of secretive how they make the weapons. And there's armor and swords, etc. Excuse me. Fleshing tables, crafting tables, anvil, grindstones, all of these. I thought that looked nice. And the way through there is through the kitchen. <laughs> now, for the secret dungeon area. <clears throat> there is a secret pathway behind my throne this is the switchboard and what this does is it has buttons that can warp me to pretty much anywhere um, I have the prison hold I have the courtyard I have the library I have the the breach I have the watchtower the seaport um, another portal the palace mines the map room everywhere you could possibly think of I have a warp to and I also have a little, if I open this up, there's a whole other floor that I can use um, with these buttons. But I don't have any, I don't have enough places to, to start using that area yet. So I haven't broken into it. But it's set up and ready. If you go this way, there is a ladder that leads to the seaport. This is the Lackaland seaport. It's the back of the castle. I'm gonna arrive. I'm gonna go into departures to arrive here because I don't have. Um, Cause I'm not. I want to place this boat back where it goes. But usually, I would have people go through arrivals to enter. And there's another reception area. Arrivals, please enter here. Departures, please do not enter here. And there's one of these little, you know how these little things you have to get through? Yeah. And there's a prince guards area here. You can shut it with this. No one can get in. We do have a minecart shaft here. And this is a whole lot of fun. <clears throat> Why would you want to try being a rude bitch? I don't know, I've tried that before, it doesn't work out very well. So this goes all the way out to Spawn Village. This is the Beginner's Charity. I call it the, the Prince Lacquer Cornucopia Foundation. And what it does is it gives every player a whole stack of anything that they might need to start off. There's also big scary buttons. And I wanna show you the breach before I, I, I think I've shown you everything with the castle, um, or palace, whatever the fuck. Yeah, I wanna show you the breach. So it's this little area here. It goes underneath the water, dungeon, that's right, dungeon. Okay, we'll go back to the dungeon here in a minute, but I want to show off the breach. It's an underwater area of housing. Oh, 
I love these squids. Whenever I was building these areas, I didn't have mob spawns turned on. So these couldn't be here, but now they can be, and it makes it look even more pretty down here. There are these houses in the breach, which, um, they're pretty nice houses, all things considered. They're underwater with glass and everything like that. Um, very beautiful. There are 128 diamonds each because there's only six of them and they were really, really hard for me to build. I guess there's might be eight, but still. And then you have um, other breach housing, which is the same exact um, length and everything. It's the same exact thing as the other houses, except for it has no windows and it's underground. But there are a lot of people who like underground housing in Minecraft. This hallway continues on. There's a lot more houses in this area than there are in the in the underwater part of the breach. But then you walk up and you're in the rural lands. Which the only structure so far is a big scary red button. Isn't the breach just so pretty? This is Spawn Village with a whole bunch of uh, lots that are for sale. I have priced them all out, which the lots aren't too expensive. Um, I guess they, well, I wonder if saying underwater would make you have to pee. I don't know. It never happened like that way whenever I would swim a lot. So there's a secret dungeon in the castle. I'm gonna work back to the switchboard and show y'all. I guess the treasure hold and the prison hold are two areas I did not show anyone. The treasure hold is here. Grab me a lever. This is where the eyes of Ender are, and the nether, the end portal here. Um, I've got a bunch of like diamonds and emeralds and lapis and just a whole bunch of this kind of stuff. Because every every um, which every palace has to have resources in it for it to be worth protecting. So these are the resources, and here is uh, yeah the portal, which I made one of my own. I'm sure there's more in actual fortresses and stuff, but I want there to be one inside of uh, the palace. This is the prison hold. This is the reception area for the prison hold. <laughs> Typically, what I do is I have both of these areas shut so that people have to be buzzed in. If you're in it, it's already valuable. Oh, you're so sweet. I did think about using um, more redstone and levers to make it to where you have to be buzzed in on out here from inside. I'm not sure if I'm gonna commit to that change yet. But as of right now, um, people, can, people are supposed to put their items and belongings in here have nothing on their person, and then I explode their pockets to make sure that they can't, because you can do that as an admin. Um, then they can enter here. A prince guard can walk out and close the door behind them. I'm gonna leave it open for the purposes of demonstration. Then they can be buzzed into the, to the actual prison hold. <clears throat> and there's prison areas right here. You can't break these blocks in survival mode, so I'm not too worried about anyone trying to break them open or anything like that. Um, 
someone's led into a prison cell, they're shut in. And they can also be teleported in. I can just directly teleport them into the prison hold. Um, but then there is this secret little area. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. So if I'm taking a prisoner down here, I go this way, prisoner goes that way, I shut the door, and it also shuts another door so that it can't escape. So we just keep on walking this way, I walk this way at least, into this area. This is a Colosseum area. And I flip the switch, I let them in, once they're in, I can lock them back in, so they have to stay in this area. And then I can open this up and let out things like wither skeletons. Here, speaking of which, we're going to go fix the problem of these wither skeletons being here and not inside of that. Uh, here. Let's go. my nose. I'm so sick of this. I'm going to start taking my allergy pills again. It's not my house or anything. I just cleaned it. So I'm inside of this, uh, the area where the monsters are being held, and what I can do is I can grab spawn eggs. Hi, Dante, how are you? I could just spawn like a billion, you know, Cods or whatever. But you know what else I can do? Spawn an absolute ton of creepers. So many that this person has like no chance of winning against them. Now those creepers are just sitting there, hiding. You are doing dishes. You come to grips with the, that you may be a bit of a slob. That's okay, I understand, it does happen. Are you like, not happy about it though? Or are you comfortable with it? A fish cod? Huh. 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 Here we go. <laughs> Let's get the area shut so no one can go down here and release the creepers. Jesus! How long ago was that? It's been weeks. Okay, now that I'm done showing y'all uh, the hard work I've done so far, 
we're going to head back to the Stonewall Memorial Park and start building it more. Uh, we only have about two hours left. Okay, so I need to... This may be more than one stream that I'm doing this. It's a pretty big park that I'm planning on building. Excuse me. I will give you that despair. Artists are known for that. Fuck ass trying to advertise my fucking stream. It's like I fixed it. You advertise my stream, you die. That's the rule. The funny part is, is that they all agree to that rule before they um, even walk into my stream. They all agree to not advertise whenever whenever they click the chat button and try to chat. I know they don't care. I'm just like, don't agree to things unless if you're gonna actually follow them. You know what I mean? Yes, I banned them from chat. We don't do advertisers here. That's not that's not what we do in Lacquerland. Unless if it's something like I don't I don't benefit at all from it, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, they have they have automatic boss. It's not like they Yeah. I still find it quite annoying, though. I think right here is where the pathway is going to end. It's going to go back up this way, just like we were discussing earlier. Reminded you of something? Hopefully something good. Okay, we can do this and I'll be fine. Yeah, I have um, looked into stream elements, just haven't figured it out quite yet. <laughs> Sorry, all my allergies are just, ugh. You're getting to me. I want to get a follow notification because a lot of times, you know, people follow and I don't realize for like five minutes or longer. There was one time I let a follow notification go unnoticed for like 
two hours and I felt really bad because the person was already gone. Yeah, it was bad. Oh. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out stream elements and everything. It's just been, there's just been so much going on. I am using Streamlabs right now. I don't know if those are like even all that different or anything, but um, here. You can set it up with that. Okay, perfect. I know I want my streams to look a bit more professional. And that's how I was going to do it, by getting follower notifications set up. And I wanted to make noises, like, I can't use copyrighted noises, of course, but noises, maybe from Minecraft because I stream it so much. I bet there's already a lot of people who use the follow, who use, like, the, the, um, to make the follow notification, the sound that you get whenever you get diamonds or something like that. They probably already have done that a billion times, but I think it'd be fun. much for not destroying the natural landscape, Jesus. Create another bridge going this way. That'd be pretty. So right around there is where I want the bridge's injection point to be.
It has all got to go. There we go, much nicer looking. I'm going up one, two, three stairs high. This would look even cooler if I had um, columns coming down to support the bridge. One high should be plenty. looks nice so far. I'm with my nose again, y'all. I'm sorry. You just start taking an allergy pill every day for a while until this all blows over. Or I guess since it's pollen that's making this happen, um, until it all stops blowing over. Until plants stop putting their semen in my nose. This side I have all of this counter for here. <clears throat>
Let's do the same thing on all sides and make sure we have a uniform looking bridge. I think we need dirt blocks right here. Well, you said just maybe miss my mouth with my drink. I thought I might. <laughs> I thought you might be a little perturbed by that. Divisible by two. There we are. Stack supports for the bridge. I've given up on trying to censor every single little weird noise I make. tacos in my fridge and I'm like really excited for them right now. Let's see, I have an hour and 30 minutes left. Okay, because so I'm like hungry. I just randomly thought last night, I was like, you know what? It's kind of a tacos and queso night. And so I made uh, there's homemade tacos in there, and there's also uh, queso that I made myself in there. Oh my gosh, that queso is more fantastic. I think right over here is going to be where I end the park. And it's going to round off. Maybe through here. Before going. 
this path back up to here. Lena, that's enough. Oops. This way up before I rent it off. Okay.
Drinking water helps with my allergies, but doesn't make them go away. So what are some cool things that y'all have seen in parks before? Like I know generally the idea of what I want for this park, but I want it to be cute, you know? I think an artificial stream would be cool, but I don't know how much work that would be to do. That gives me an idea for something and I want to try it. of coral we have. We have little benches surrounding like lotus ponds. Lotus pond sounds like a good idea. So what happens if I flood this? It's not really that vivid, it's kind of subtle. I wish I had more colors that I could work with so I can make more flags as that's just the basic ass rainbow flag. I love my rainbow flag, don't get me wrong, but just, you know, I wish that I could be more inclusive with that. So if I had a rainbow river like that, I can make it work. I just wish I had blocks that emitted light on their own. <coughs> Would wool be more, like, bright? I like that look better. Here, let's see. Why don't I have a light block in my inventory? Why did I get rid of that? Let's see what happens if I...
the Rainbow River. Okay, so that works. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but it will. Why is it always whenever I'm doing something that is like light sensitive that rain starts to happen? <clears throat> oh, I need a spung. auto mod okay um yeah i let that one pass through of course um yeah life can definitely be that way for sure i've had my fair share of experiences like that recently i don't know how i'd afford to survive if i was not in the area that i'm in at the moment Automod doesn't catch you on other things because you're also like really subtle with your wording. Magma? That must have been when the end portal was. Oh, the light blocks are still there. Oops. those away, but don't throw them away. our way all the way up to here. I'm going to go all the way up here, start veering off. Until we get back to this area. And we've got phantoms following us.
So this is shaping up to be a pretty spacious park. It does kind of cut into the area that I designated as the Valley of the Nobles, but I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> I'd rather have a Lackland National Monument to LGBT history than have exclusive areas. This is going to be the hard part. I can't just go directly this way because I'm, I'm going to bump into the castle. But I can go directly this way until I get to about this point here. I'm well, sorry, I'm saying next year because I felt like a Disney princess got ate up by multiple bugs. <laughs> That'll do it. Is it like hot and humid over where you are right now? Because over here it's actually quite cool outside. Like I was able to be outside comfortably in a tank top, but only if I was in the direct sun. It's so weird. I feel like the weather is just really, really odd this year. Like, sometimes it does take a long time for springtime and summertime to really hit here in this area. And I'm not complaining about it because I still have no air conditioner. So, you know, it's not a huge deal. But, um, I'm really glad that it's been this way. I'm just like, what's going on with the world right now? How, how, is, this, how, is, this, how is this a thing? Okay, I almost got the pathway made. This is very monotonous, and after this I can start doing actual, like, park things, you know? Okay, this has been bothering me for a good minute. I want... that.
Hello, baby chicken. I do love that mobs can spawn now because it's starting to give me a picture of what people are going to see whenever they're in this world. Blueberry lemonade. I want some. Where is it? Prince Lacquer is having Kool-Aid later. It's black cherry. It's in my fridge right now. But I really like Kool-Aid. I got a big old sweet tooth that is hard to satisfy. What I really want like all the time is candy. But I deprive myself a lot. Because if I ate just however much candy I wanted, I'd probably get diabetes. Black cherry Kool-Aid is muy fantastical. I go through the Kool-Aid, like, ridiculously. Um, I had about 10 pounds of sugar that lasted me maybe two months. And most of it was used for Kool-Aid. to limit your gummy bear intake. I feel that. Just make sure you don't get sugar-free gummy bears. You need a whole bag. Nothing bad will happen if you do that, for sure. Nothing bad happens at all. There's a poem. I've eaten a five pound bag in one sitting. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't even know if I could do that. It's also just because my appetite isn't gigantic for most things. If I'm craving something specific, I can eat it a whole lot of it. Or if I'm, um, I guess using substances. <laughs> Only ones I'm medically allowed to have. Um, Anyways. There, finally, connection. Stonewall Memorial Park. Now, what I know is that I want to create a river. Linking it up to this river would make it um, K 
tune. How's your mouth, Vanna? Here's got a little booty smack. Okay, so let's make the landscape a bit more congruent, if that makes sense. I don't want to totally destroy the natural landscape, I just want to make it a little bit more uh, uniform. I just realized that this castle, or that <laughs> castle, that this uh, memorial park is actually like bigger. I think it's bigger than the palace yard. Obviously, it won't be near as tall of a structure, but yeah, I think that um, if we count the number of blocks within each structure. Like that covers from side to side. I think that this stone wall park would be bigger. Trim that down a little bit. Just trying to round off all these corners and stuff like that, make it look not so. That's something I need to be fixed. And that. And that. Ooh, and all of this. That. If this stops looking like a naturally generated world, though, please tell me all, because I don't want it to look like. It's super artificial. I want to fill up this area. In that area. Mm. 
that cave we got plenty of caves here in the Stonewall National or Stonewall Memorial Park I want to seal up this little thing too maybe destroy this one Can y'all hear those sirens outside? Fun. Yeah, I live like a very short distance away from some of the emergency responders in this area, which I don't live like right next to the thing or whatever, but it's 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 pretty close. So unfortunately, I I hear a lot of those sirens even when I'm trying to go to sleep and stuff like that. <clears throat> maybe at some point I'll have some kind of fancy noise canceling setup so that doesn't happen. Or maybe I'll just live in more of a rural area so that doesn't happen either. But you know, one can dream. I'm like right off of a major street too, so that doesn't help either. And I'm not doxing myself when I say that. It's just like, there's so many major streets in my city that it, it would be stupid for anyone to be like, oh, haha, ha, now I know where you live. left and I haven't even started on the actual park fixtures. I've only ever done I've only done the, the bridge and stuff like that. Oh well. Lacquer Lamb wasn't built in a day, everyone. Oh, this looks so much neater. This is getting torn down.
All right, all that's done. Um, here we are. Small little pathway into Stonewall Cave. It's funny how you can't jump over the wall here, but you can whenever you're up here. So that's how you get in, jump over here. But there's no way out. That'd be a fun challenge for players. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Stonewall cave okay, beyond this point, do not enter. Is that gonna stop anyone? No.
You can't believe what? <clears throat> Why can't you watch it? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I never thought I'd hear you say that either. Here to take a shower. Dude. We need to get you late or something. Oh, what now? some deer ice slabs. Bed friends? Oh, Jesus. Sounds like I would roll my eyes if I watched that. You thought you would, but you didn't? Okay, here we are. This draws people in. They're gonna be like, what's this? Stonewall Memorial Park. Let's make some picnic tables. So there's actually a plot to it. That's interesting. out just a little bit it makes it look more realistic Park should have picnic tables.
I'm just gonna send them over by this far. Okay, picnic tables. And what I think is gonna happen is gonna, this is gonna be a gazebo in the middle. Gonna make it out of diorite. Huh, huh. With no plot, I could go to other sites. Yeah, yeah, you definitely could. Plenty of sites out there for that. I visit one of those sites daily. Um, let's go right here. I'm trying to decide where to put the gazebo right now. This one doesn't look like the middle to me. I think this is the middle right here. If I do that, there's also a straight pathway from the entrance of Stonewall. We're gonna have to be over here. If I do this, there's a straight pathway from the main entrance to the gazebo. And I like that. Is it because I said straight path? Or because I said that I visit some that I visit one of those sites daily? the sky now. Sorry about that. I had no, um, my hour twos were like, hey, bitch. So, okay. So Dante's house here kind of has a gazebo on it. So I want to take inspiration from that. It's going to be a spot in the middle, and this spot in the middle is going to have a um, lectern that contains a book that actually talks about Stonewall and what happened during the Stonewall riots. It's going to talk about why there's a memorial park for it in my castle world and all the things here. I'm gonna Google gazebos to kind of see what what I'm, like I have a picture in my head, but I want, I want it to be more specific. And I think that the internet can help me with that. Okay. I'm gonna have to decide how big I want it. I still can't remember in, in American history there's a battle called the Battle of the Bulge. There is! And when I learned about that, I think it was in middle school, I was like <laughs> the entire time because I thought I was hilarious. And I was hilarious, by the way. It was funny. I need my circle generator for Minecraft. I haven't used this since we started the castle. So I don't want the gazebo to be gigantic, but I want it to be sizable. 
And you know what? I think this is the exact same size as the castle spires. making history I don't care about America I don't even want to be here for real <laughs> I don't particularly care about American history either so I took the little fun things I could out of my history class you know what I mean Now, I don't know if this is common, but in my state, part of the required curriculum in high school is that you have to learn the state history and talk about boring. Yeah, it was not fun. And I remember they had this like this stupid character as part of the curriculum who tried to teach about Oklahoma history and this character was just It looked like it was something that was made for 5-year-olds by a 5-year-old. Let me let me just put it that way. His name was Jeb. I don't even remember like a whole lot of it. I remember one time like there were times that there he would like Try to teach in a poem form, and I was like, I'm trying to learn about Oklahoma history, not you know, just just give me the information, and let me do the fucking test. You know, that's how, how I felt about it. They tried to make it fun, but it failed miserably. Oh, gross. Huh. Beginnings of a Stonewall Monument have begun. That sounded so weird. Can okay, I make sure this all looks congruent and even? It does. I know this up here part is just a tiny bit longer, but that's because I have to have two levels of staircases instead of one. It's the closest I've been to being 100% gay. I don't know, I don't find birth too disturbing. Now, I don't want to just look at it all day for sure. But I don't find it super disturbing, personally. So if I do that all around the gazebo, I can go up, 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 up. How far do I want to go? That makes it pretty fucking tall. I think that's tall enough. <clears throat> I 
It wasn't the birth. It was like this woman had never shoot again in her life unless she gave birth to her kid's head. That thing gave birth to a baby. Oh, Jesus. It is really hard to reach those areas whenever you are nine months pregnant, though. I will say. Look at this. This is going to be such a cool gazebo. It's also really nice to build something that's not um, using all smooth quartz blocks because I have seen so many smooth quartz blocks. As you can see by that structure, yay there. Well, hey, I'm not one to knock on the all natural look. Let's <clears throat> make sure it says every. Every side is as tall as each other. We got about 30 minutes left to stream. There we are. I'm not either, but I also don't want to have a good time not jungle. Yeah. Well, you do. It's okay for you to have preferences. So that's the inside of the gazebo.
<clears throat> now I need to decide, do I want to keep um, just building with diorite or do I want to do a different uh, block for the roof here? Yeah, so what would I even use? The castle is palace is copper. I don't want to reuse that. An amethyst roof would be really cool, but I don't know. Does that go with, I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know if it matches. So that looks like it matches. I'm not sure if this looks like it matches. Before I settled on doing copper, I had this idea of making a castle just made completely out of diamonds. So what if I realized my dream on that here made this completely out of diamond blocks? This is about as bright as I think it can possibly get without being gouty.
There we go. A beautiful gazebo. I'm not even bothering to say that I'm going off screen to wipe my nose anymore. I'm just doing it. Okay.
There we are. All right, the gazebo has been built. It's kind of the centerpiece for the entire uh, park over here. Man, that looks nice. Let's be honest, it would probably just look better if I just straighten this all out. This is why planning is so incredibly important in this game, because sometimes you change your mind on things and they don't exactly go as planned.
There we are. That looks better to me. I do another straight path this way. It looks like I already have the coordinates right. Yeah, that's already straightened out completely. One ninety four is what I'm looking for. Oh, it's off by one. That's frustrating. That can easily be fixed. Way easier than the other one could be. So now this is exactly aligned. I can make that pathway if I want to. I'm not going to do it at this exact moment because I'm not sure if I want to, but I can. And I want that option. This one, it's right over here. I don't even think that makes sense to make a pathway from, from here to here. I mean, maybe just to traverse the park a bit easier, but it doesn't make much sense to me. I have no idea what that sheep is doing. All right, so this gazebo divides the park into four distinct quadrants. However, this one's like really small compared to the rest of them. This might be the one where I just make a whole meadow, where there's nothing there except for just flowers. Um, this one over here already has a picnic table. I want this one to be the one that has the um, manufactured um, what do you call it? The bridge. No, not the bridge. The waterfall. I want a waterfall. 
and then I want it to be rainbow, and I want it to go right down here and to merge into with this riverway right here. So this area is going to be the value of the nobles. I gotta start designing that area soon, but we don't have to worry about that right this very second. <coughs> I was going to do a country club in the Valley of the Nobles, but I'm starting to think I may just not even do that. I'm just not even sure if it's necessary at this point. My stomach's rumbling. I'm hungry. So far, I like traversing this area. Goodness gracious, can my stomach stop for like two seconds? Like, damn, bitch. There's only like three minutes left. I might, but I'm not sure. I might move that area over just by one, just to make that transition a little bit smoother there. Maybe I can make a tennis court. I feel bad making sports areas that people can't actually use. Then I want a rainbow river. Going under here, it's gonna be so pretty. I might start it like over here. I don't know what I'm gonna start with though. Maybe like a stone? Like just a big old thing of stone that has water that comes out. It would look artificial, but that doesn't matter. It's supposed to look artificial. And just have the river running like through here. Loop it off over here. And to here, and finally let it uh, join in with this stream right here. I think I would just use regular stone for that. field day with my stomach later, I'm going to be like, you cannot do this anymore in stream. Don't ever stream hungry, apparently. Okay, 
This is not supposed to look like it was naturally generated. This is kind of giving pineapple vibes. Yeah, a little bit. Is that how long I want the river to be though? Do I want it to be four blocks wide? to start here and venture on forth until it gets to here. That's all I know so far. However, regardless, that is all the time that we have for today. I'm incredibly proud of this memorial park so far. Um, I was hoping I'd get further in it than I did today, but I feel like I did some progress. I mean, there's tables here and everything. So anyways, I shall see y'all in the next one on Wednesday, and have a good evening. Bye!